Some breaking news now from Escondido, where a driver plowed through a fence at Hidden Valley Middle School, hitting several people, including children. 10 News reporter Allison Ash is joining us. And Allison, you spoke to a student who saw this entire thing happen. Yeah, and we've just learned from the school principal that uh, that they will have extra counselors on hand here at Hidden Valley Middle School because so many of the kids were just getting out of school and they saw everything happening. It happened about two o'clock as they were getting out. Kids, parents, they were everywhere here. That's when that car suddenly came out of the east parking lot, which is over there, came speeding through and hit a wrought iron fence just like this one. The fence was flattened and the car flew 500 feet down down a grassy embankment coming to a rest outside the theater building. Kids were scattering, but an 11 year old girl and her 42 year old mother who were on foot were hit by that car. A 13 year old was grazed by the car. He had uh, minor injuries. Now we spoke to a 12 year old who saw this whole thing happen. We hear the loud crash and everybody's running over there. So I get pretty scared because everybody's running towards the exit. And well, I go over there and I see someone on the ground and they're not moving and I see the car just right there crashed and it's pretty scary. It was really scary for a lot of kids. Now we know the driver was a 75 year old grandmother mother. She had one child in the car. She had come to the school to pick up a second child, a 13 year old granddaughter. That granddaughter was in the front seat when the car went flying. Uh, that granddaughter was injured. She was taken to the hospital. Uh, the, the car came to a rest right against the theater of this uh, this building you see in front of me. The, uh, the thing was, though, that it was able to stop. It was stopped by some air conditioning units there. Just a few minutes ago, Escondido police had that car towed out of here. Now, the police tell me that the driver was not on drugs or alcohol. As far as police can tell, this crash was caused by just confusion. They continue their investigation at this hour, but they tell me with no life-threatening injuries, they were very lucky here. Reporting live in Escondido, Allison Ash, 10 News.